Moving season is coming up as schools wind up for the year. So here's what you need to know before you sign up with a mover. From Orange County, California to New York City, a big move for Michelle Starakovsky. She considered her options and got quotes from several carriers. With the current supply chain shortage, a U-Haul truck, no movers, no nothing, is $7,000. So $9,000 for a full pack seems like an okay deal, not $16,000. Michelle says she used a broker to find a mover. One six zero. They settled on $9,000, but that was apparently a come on, and her goods would not be released until she paid much more. Once the stuff was loaded, I received a call that I actually would be uh, responsible for a price that was double the amount I had already paid. Why so much more? They claim she had heavy exercise equipment. I had an underdust stepper. Michelle said they kept her goods hostage after nearly doubling the original estimate. And when she told them she wanted to change companies, they said it was too late. Claire Rosenweig, president and CEO of the New York Better Business Bureau, says you really need to do your homework before hiring a mover. You want to get at least three written estimates in person or even virtual, but make sure that you're showing them everything that's going to be moved. There are binding estimates. There are non-binding estimates. If you get a binding estimate, that's what you're going to pay. If you get a non-binding estimate, you're leaving the door open. 16000 I would have expected a hug, breakfast, you know, a massage. That would have been nice. <laughs> Well, Michelle's all moved in, and she would definitely pick a mover differently next time. Check with the BBB to see if the mover is reputable. Be wary of a very low estimate and get a binding estimate. I'm Janice Lieberman, and that's The Real Deal.